Okay, my outstanding friends, this is Roger once again, and I have a friend, Ra, and myself will be presenting research on a variety of topics. You know that I don't stick to one little thing and that's all I do. I'm across the board. And as you can see, we're talking about Petra and how it's biology and how about ghost particles and dark matter and mapping our bacteria and what's on Mars and health and Jesus Christ and everything there is right across the board because a hundred percent of it is related. There's nothing that sits by itself. So what it means is that we have to start right from scratch again, fresh, right out of the box. And here's where we're going to start. We're going to try to understand what is everything made of. They don't know even how gravity works at the moment. I mean, I don't mean to be critical, but I have evidence to present that we need to have it presented, and it's not being even allowed. Like right now, how does heat move? What is heat made of? Did you know that things get heavier when they get hot? Only gases get lighter. That's because they expand. They take up more area, and they go up. The whole, uh, everything else, when it gets hot, it gets heavier. And I show all of these things in here. I mean, and I have literally thousands. I think I have 4,000 videos now. We just went over 120, 121,000 subscribers. So what we want to do is present this in a whole new way and a whole new meaning. Now, that doesn't mean you have to say, oh, yes, yes, oh, thank you, and I'll write every little word you say, and if I don't write it right, you're going to fail me. No, I don't fail anybody. I have no, I have no authority over anybody, and neither is Ra. All we're going to do is present research that we did that we feel is relevant, that either confirms what's being said or, or has some kind of, you know, something to offer about it, whether it may be saying, oh, I see you guys are crazy. Well, maybe we're going to say that. And I can tell you right now, we are going to say that in most cases. The things that we have been taught just make no sense whatsoever. And I've known this not for just a week or a month or years or 10 years, 50 years ago. I will show you all my research I did 50 years ago, and it was deep, and it showed that the Bohr model is, is impossible. There's no such thing as one gigantic big positive and a couple little tiny negatives that that's what would have happened and and anyway that's we're going to go through everything but trust me it's going to be we're going to look at new species how did that thing turn solid like a rock and what the hell is it it's the foot of what we call a noto and they have springs inside of them that's where the fibula sits that's where the tibia is you see you get these things in the right shadows you can see all the little exact markings and everything that was here that's where the bone sat and another one sat here and this is where the blood feeds the toes in the front and they're encased in this this is not a shoe and this is a bone that is entire it has its all of the little pad on the top where the bone scrubs the other bone it's got the cartilage it's got the periosteum the coating the membranes it's everything it's because these are mud fossils and we know how this happened now this, oops, this is something I've studied very, very carefully. I know chemistry pretty well. And this is a process called nucleophilic substitution. This is a goose. And what happens is the molecules that were here were totally unstable. Yes, absolutely. They would rot away and just deteriorate, except other invasive chemistry came in here and attached to the to the deteriorating molecules and turned them stable and once they were stable all they had to do was dry out and here you have your goose all right and there's the feathers and everything still there see the feather pattern and all of this feldspar is literally skin and we'll be looking at all of this in the microscope. We've got a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. We're going to be looking at Mars. We're going to be looking at what's going on in the Mars mission. We're going to be looking at all the comets. What did they find out the comets? What, what did the ancient texts say about the catastrophes that happened on Earth? What did Jesus Christ say about the Earth? What did he say about afterlife? What is molecules made of? What are par particles made of? What's electricity made of? What's all these structures on Earth made of, and why are they here? What about the ancient maps, and how are we heating up our atmosphere? Is it strictly carbon dioxide? I say no. That's a 30-inch long fingertip, DNA certified. 
And like I said, this is not a one-shot deal. This is everything right across the board, top to bottom. How were the pyramids built? I say they were built from the top down. And we'll look at all of these things, one thing after another. And this apparently is um, the way the education system is set up right now. Follow the leader. And the leader is the guy that either gives you an A or an F. I don't know if they do that anymore. I'm sure they have some kind of special things they do now. There was giant creatures here. This is literally a female body part. It's not pornography, it is geology. And there is a face in the side of it because it was in a flood and she was pregnant. This I show in great detail. This is, this is an hour long. And I go into that and a ton of other stuff. All of these things, even these walls. How did they make these walls? I can tell you how they made them and I'll show you how they made them. All of these things, I have, everything I have here is not a guess. And if you think I'm guessing after I show you the things that I show you, then, then, then you can go on your way and everything will be fine. Even like the, the heel stone at Stonehenge is a foot. That's way off from Stonehenge and there was a twin of it that's been removed. Black holes. I understand black holes are Russian-made ones in space. There it is right there. And it was made inside of a canister inside of their space vehicle. And the only reason it can do that is because it's in zero gravity. Just like that one's in zero gravity out there. All the dark stuff gets pushed to the center. We accelerated light. If you can't see that that light is accelerating, then, then I, can't, I can't help you. And I can show you that that light will like, separate from its own self and become the muons and the dark matter that they're looking for. This I show in great detail, extreme detail. And as far as I'm concerned, undeniable detail. So we have a lot of work to do and a lot of videos to look at and a lot of people to confront and a lot of questions to resolve, not walk away from. All right, you see all these videos? This is serious stuff. And these are tendon balls, and they're all over the earth. They're all over the earth. And they look at them, and they have no clue about it. They see one or here or there, and they think it's a big deal. They're just everywhere. Dragons were here. I show that in extreme detail. Giants of every type were all over this earth. And it's been a system of denial. And there was other creatures here that looked like they came from outer space, as far as I'm concerned. So, we, we don't walk away from anything. And this is going to be a very long learning process, because it is not, as far as I can see right now, physics is not right. If I can accelerate light and split the particles, which I can, all right, as I said, I can show that this is pulsed red laser. That's accelerating pulsed red laser. The particle that is right there is accelerating out of its wave, exploding there and literally dividing. It was this black and white ball package here, two literal electrons together make a photon. And that's a photon of light. And when it hit the wall over here, which is the Venturi, the white and the black ball separated. You see the white and the black balls? They separated. They literally came apart. Exactly what CERN wants you to see is the black ball and the white ball. The white ball turns into the shower. The black ball just goes on its way. Precisely what we see right here. That's exactly what it is. And then the black balls come back together over here. We saw they were attached. They broke apart. That's fission. And this is subatomic fission. This is the reattachment, that's fusion, subatomic fusion. In the middle, I would say that is nuclear energy. And I think we could harvest that. So we've got a lot of things to discuss, not just mud fossils. Okay, there's going to be a lot of giants. These are on my property. Everything I have here that I've shown came right off my property or is still on my property. And that is a giant fingertip. It's been DNA tested. That's the pad at the back of the of the bone, that's the fingernail, and the fingerprints are still perfect, and here they are, 
and those are the fingerprints and the one my thumb is about the same width as one of the little finger ridges on your finger same stuff and it peeled right off just exactly like it shows here and here is a DNA test showing that all of this stuff is real and it was proven by Helix Biolabs and this was back six years ago that's why I'm a little you know I, I, I had a bad attitude I gotta be perfectly honest I, I went through all of this stuff and I mean uh, this that was a 36 inch tip that big long one a lung which is covered with blood a mud tip which was a, a what, this one here uh, and I have the whole hand I have you know knuckles and fingers and everything but that's the tip of the finger on this one the other one was five times bigger more than that so it's, they're huge, huge, huge creatures. This is what upset the, the authorities. <laughs> but I, I have all the evidence to show. And now they know that they can get DNA. When I did this, nobody they, they said, hey, you can't get DNA. I said, absolutely you can. I was drilling right into blood. All right, there's, these are lungs. This one I had tested for uh, DNA, and it was it was on that same test. And I drilled a hole, hole up inside where it's all red blood, and it is red blood. It is just bloody. And this one here, the same thing. This one here, actually, all of these little red spots had blood coming out of them, little blobs of blood. These are the little alveoli of the lungs. You see? And this was the blood that came out of the lungs. So, you know, it's not like I, I didn't have specimens. And here's the big hand from that fingertip I showed you, that, that mud tip I said it was about this big. It's, I think it's right there. But this is a left hand. And this you have one of these run right down your hand, and you have the bumper pad that runs right around. And remember I showed you the grip skin on a bigger, big finger? This is the same kind of skin. It's a very tough skin. It's called, well, I call it grip skin. I, I forget what they call it. But it's a tough, tough stuff. And I, I'd like to see the chemistry in that because I think this is where the iridium came from. Um, so I have all this stuff. It's not like, a, and the blood comes right out of them. It's, not, it's very, very simple to get blood out of rocks. Okay, so here's the bottom line, my good friends. Uh, Ra has his own stations, you know, his, his own channels, he's got a radio show, he does all that stuff. He's very accomplished at presentations, so that's going to be critical because I am not. <laughs> now, what will you expect to see here? I am going to try to make playlists. I'm gonna, I, I really don't know how this whole thing works, to be perfectly honest with you, but I'm probably going to have, just like they are here, just splash it all over here, and then try to link it to a playlist, or just create the playlist of whatever the topics are, and try to keep them in that order, like a school would do. You know, you're going into a physics course, you go into the physics, you don't want to learn about something else. But again, every single thing there is, has a relationship to everything else. It's all based on chemistry. It's all based on molecules and everything is. So I have found that every time I talk about something I have to drag another subject into it because there, there is no there's no single subject. And that's the problem. They're being taught as single subjects now. And the people that claim to know that single subject have no clue how anything else affects that single subject. And I do, because I am a, a full-spectrum guy. I don't just cover, you know, light, or I don't just cover fossils or chemistry. It's, it's, you've got to be across the board or you're, you're nowhere. Then you're, all you do is listen to somebody else give their opinion, because they don't know what you know. You don't know what they know. Nobody knows what anybody else knows because they're told, don't speak about it because it's not your position to speak about it. Well, we speak about everything. If we're right, we're right. If we're wrong, we're wrong. But we're going to examine everything. And that's the only reason I got to the point I'm at now. And I think this is pretty important. And if you don't, well, that's fine. You go on your way. But we're not going to do that. I'm not going to. And Ra's not going to. And we have, well, we've got 121,000 people subscribing to me now. Ra has a lot of people. He's got... He's, he, he floats among a circle of people that are, you know, uh, he just had on Brian Forrester, and he's been had on a bunch of people. And they do great work. But I don't think, think they see things through the eyes that we see things through. And it's because they're a little bit challenged 
if they want to keep their businesses going and their professions going and their status among their peers. But I think it's better to stand up and say, let's look at this. Now, if it's wrong, it's wrong. But just to say that you, you don't believe something because it's just too too spectacular, then then I say that's not right. That to me is wrong. So let's see if we can make this all work out. All right. I'll see you on the other side.